Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It is Pastor Bramick at Holy Shepherd Lutheran Church in Hazlitt, Texas. Today is June the 13th. It is a Thursday, um, and we are in Proverbs chapter 13. So let's get started with verse 1. A wise son heeds his father's instruction, but a mocker does not listen to, to rebuke. From the fruit of his lips, a man enjoys good things, but the unfaithful have a craving for violence. He who guards his lips guards his life, but he who speaks rashly will come to ruin. The sluggard craves and gets nothing, but the desires of the diligent are fully satisfied. The righteous hate what is false, but the wicked bring shame and disgrace. Righteousness guards the man of integrity, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. One man pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. A man's riches may ransom his life, but a poor man hears no threat. The light of the righteous shines brightly, but the lamp of the wicked is snuffed out. Pride only breeds quarrels, but wisdom is found in those who take advice. Dishonest money dwindles away, but he who gathers money little by little makes it grow. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. He who scorns instruction will pay for it, but he who respects a command is rewarded. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life, turning a man from the snares of death. Good understanding wins favor, but the way of the unfaithful is hard. Every prudent man acts out of knowledge, but a fool exposes his folly. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a trustworthy envoy brings healing. He who ignores discipline comes to poverty and shame, but whoever heeds correction is honored. A longing fulfilled is sweet to the soil, but fools detest turning from evil. He who walks with the wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. Misfortune pursues the sinner, but prosperity is the reward of the righteous. A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children, but a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. A poor man's field may produce abundant food, but injustice sweeps it away. He who spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is careful to discipline him. The righteous eats to their heart's content, but the stomach of the wicked goes hungry. All right, so uh, more Proverbs. I, I think what you see here, the commonality of chapter 13, is um, it focuses on listening, and it focuses on receiving the words of others. You know, wisdom is normally thought of as, as accumulating as you get older, because the older you are, the more time you've had to live, the more lessons that you've learned, the, the greater wisdom that you have gained and that you can pass on. And, and the wise in the book of Proverbs are those who will listen to others, those who will listen to the advice and the wisdom of those who have more of it. Um, it it's also receiving discipline from other people. So, you know, you, you have some instances in here about children receiving discipline and that, that discipline when it is, you know, applied in the sense of a corporal punishment type of perspective, um, that, that there is value to that, uh, that, that, that simply giving warnings and, and timeouts uh, doesn't, according to the Bible, have quite the impact of instilling lessons as associating a, a, a painful outcome with a choice. And, uh, you know, many of us who were spanked growing up uh, might, might thank our parents for, um, you know, the discipline that it taught us and the understanding um, that it gave to us. And I, I've heard this also talked about by other parents who have not spanked and who have not disciplined in that in that same fashion. So, um, the, you know, the Bible is is correct there. And, and like I said, 13 is about receiving correction from others that, you know, the community that other people um, can instill in you a sense of discipline. Discipline and wisdom go together, right? There, there's a certain lack of patience that you see throughout this chapter also when it comes to people who um, are undisciplined, um, that they, they, do, they, have, they act in life with an impulsiveness to satisfy the desire of their human nature, their human sinful nature. And so as a result of that, um, you can see those behaviors uh, evidently in someone or you can experience them because they are just only concerned about feeding their own stomachs or satisfying their own desires and appetites, uh, but but there's counsel in here about men who are prudent and, and people who are patient and those who wait. And, um, you know, uh, the, there's something to that in life that 
um, it, it, it shows a, a deference to other people uh, instead of a selfishness and a thinking just of, of one's own needs. And of course, how can we not say that and not talk about the sacrifice of Jesus who thinks of others um, and uh, is, is patient in his sufferings and endures until the end, um, you know, even suffering death for um, the sake of, of forgiving the world's sins. So um, that's how we can apply Proverbs and to, to the gospel. All right, let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right. Uh, announcements for today. Uh, so we're having a vacation Bible school meeting after church this coming Sunday. I've been sending out a few things. Um, and so uh, if you are looking to volunteer for our VBS, we hope to see you after church this Sunday. Um, the meeting will not be long. I'm probably going to try and get a bunch of things out this Saturday for VBS as well. Uh, and then VBS starts a week from um, this coming Monday. So we, we do have a number of um, applications or, or registration forms, I should say, that have come in. And so we're excited about VBS getting started on uh, Monday, June the 24th. And uh, let's see, what else do I have for you? Um, men's breakfast will be the first Saturday in the, uh, in the month of July. And uh, there is no season saints for the month of June. Um, so I will get back to you. We'll probably have it um, maybe the second Tuesday in July, but, but stay tuned for, um, for some more updates about that. Okay. Um, I think that's all the announcements that I have for today. Thank you for watching. Um, there is no daily devotion tomorrow, but I will be back on Saturday. God bless.